video tape. It will. Hey, how's it going YouTube? This is Spearfield7. Today we're going to talk a little bit about NBA Live 18, the one edition. I caved and I bought this because right now on the PlayStation Store, until I think 10 a.m. Central Time on the day after Christmas, uh, this sale's going on. It's $9.89, and that's my kind of price. I mean, obviously, 2K18 probably outsold the game, and it's a game that has had kind of a checkered past. But I've heard some really nice things about the last couple years of the game. So I decided that I wanted to check it out for myself, see what, it, see what all the fuss is about, see if it's improving. And honestly, I'm really pleasantly surprised. I really have enjoyed my time with the game. I made this kind of like Andre 3000 from Semi Pro, 1970s ABA type of dude. <laughs> He's like 6'10 and like 185 pounds, so a lot smaller, a lot more of the old era now you see guys like lebron james and russell westbrook they they look like they're like mystery universe like they can bench press 8,000 pounds if they wanted to with no effort as you all have noticed on this channel i've grown very very jaded of 2k18 and so i wanted to talk a little bit about some of the differences i've only played for about seven hours so i don't really have a tons of experience under my belt in this game this game is a lot easier um the animations are a lot more limited but i was really thinking Thinking about it 2k18 has tons of animations but some of them don't make sense and some of them I think actually kind of interrupt gameplay you know like when there's a loose ball and you're running out of bounds and a bunch of guys are diving for the ball and they just dive straight at their feet and they don't actually go towards the ball they're kind of flopping around like a dying fish you know like out of water you know like you throw them up on the dock and they're flip flopping around and about to die I mean that's really how a lot of the animations work and for me at least in 2k18 and with the whole zigzag with the dribble moves with the stretch centers people just they've learned the mechanics and how to break the mechanics and the game isn't necessarily a really super fun experience this game has really good graphics in my opinion on the Metacritic reviews a lot of the players are like well 2k18 looks better and I agree to a certain extent but come on, this is definitely a AAA title from 2017. I love the presentation from ESPN, and I do appreciate that the story is not as convoluted and crazy as 2K18. You don't have to run around with some sort of oriental girl. You don't go on fishing dates with Paul George and then have a talking fish in your freaking loft, you know, telling you jokes and stuff when you're shooting around. That's just not my type of game. I don't like that 2K18, every time I log in or try to log in, I get these VC advertisements just shoved down my throat. It's just so disgusting, man. A lot of people put down $150 on this game, and what have they gotten out of it? They've gotten their clothes taken away with no refunds. They've gotten just more and more advertisements, give us more and more money. We're, it's just greed. In NBA Live 18, I haven't seen any advertisements for buying loot boxes. They have their own system, you can earn it, kind of, they have their own kind of monetary system. And you can unlock loot boxes, get new gear, that kind of thing. I do like that it's kind of like a Christmas present, like it's kind of a surprise, you don't really know what's going to be in the box. Um, but you have an opportunity to collect everything in each box collection. As for the online, I hate 2K18's neighborhood. I think it's gotten way too political. You gotta go through some sort of like six month legal process just to get on somebody's squad. They're out here on their cell phones like nerds. You know, 90% of them don't pay attention in math class, but they're on their cell phones disqualifying whoever comes along for whatever stat that is important to them. This game, you're not seeing anybody's win-loss right beforehand. You have a nice lobby system. You don't have to go to some sort of neighborhood and walk around for 25 minutes trying to get into a match, only to get finessed off of spots by squads. It's like Call of Duty. It's like, I wanna play a 3v3 game. It pairs you up with some people and you're balling in less than 60 seconds. This is the type of game I want. I like playing a whole lot of different games, but 2K18, I just can't do the grind because it takes way too long for things to develop. 
you have unskippable cutscenes, and in this game you have your own degree of, you know, cutscene or tomfoolery that you have to put up with. Uh, but it's it's not nearly as bad, not nearly as annoying, and not nearly as aggressive as 2K18. So if you're looking for a NBA experience, you're disillusioned with 2K18, or you just wanted to hear another voice out in the wilderness saying that, eh, NBA Live 18, it's kind of all right. It's kind of coming along. I really do think that it's a year or two away from really competing with 2K18. It's published by EA, which is kind of cause for concern. They really messed up the whole Star Wars Battlefront 2 microtransaction stuff this fall. And who's to say that once they become the king of the court once again, that they're going to resort to the same type of issues that 2K18 has. But they've been very aggressive with this game, and I've really, like, props to them for doing this. They made the game cheaper than 2K18 when it came out originally. And now, like I said, this PlayStation sale that's going on for the next, I guess, 48 hours. So if you get a gift card for Christmas or you're looking to maybe try out a new game or want to try out the other NBA game, this is the perfect time to do it. It's $9.89. I really just wanted to get on and talk a little bit about this sale. Uh, I have to work for the holiday. I'm kind of bummed out that I can't spend time with my family. I just hope everybody out there has a wonderful Christmas. I'm looking forward to making some new content and hope that you can stick with me until that time. So until next time, this is Spearfield 7. See y'all later.